power in the name of Jesus. I command you to come alive. Every spirit of your vital dysfunction, I command you to come alive in the name of Jesus. Every demon manifested in the name of mental dysfunction, I in the name of Jesus, Marco Tunobo Sendakata, I decree life, I decree health in the name of Jesus. I command you to come back to life. I command you to begin to rise. Just like the dead rise, I command you to rise in the name of Jesus. I say you shall begin to work for what you are made for. Like I said, Just maybe stop it. Stop it. Why are you stopping? Look, I, I, I can't get it up. I mean, I can't get an erection. What kind of hopeless life is this? Don't say that. Don't be pessimistic. What do you mean I shouldn't be pessimistic? What is the worth of me living if I cannot get my manhood up? Look, I, I live in a very dark world right now. Because everything just feels so blank. Baby, let's just be trying. It's okay. Okay, let me just give you a blowjob. Would you just stop it? Don't you understand what I'm going through right now? Babe, it's okay. Stop it! I said I can't feel anything, nothing, nothing is not moving at all. Don't you get it? You don't understand how I feel right now as a man. What's the worth of me living when my manhood is dead? It's do you, do you understand dead. what I'm feeling? It's not dead. Stop saying that. Just save me this salmon. I'm not interested. I was actually coming upstairs to call you. Breakfast is ready. Well, I'm not hungry. Hey. You didn't eat last night, and you're going out on an empty stomach. It's not going to work. Well, I just said I'm not hungry. You have to eat something. Baby. What was the meaning of this? Would you get out of my way? Please eat. Truth. What is my chance? Would I ever still get an erection again? Mr. Ben, I must be truthful to you. Your chances are very slim. Oh, God. More like 80 20. Baby, baby, calm down. <sighs> baby, baby, take it easy. You see, Mr. Ben, those elbow concussions you were taking back then, they have caused a severe damage to the veins responsible for your erection. And until those veins are repaired, I'm sorry, you can't get an erection. Um, doctor. Okay, so now that, what, what can we do to, to, to get the veins working again? Madam, this is a very complex veins. And from what it appears, it's like the Dead. Then how useful is a man's life without an erection? Oh, baby, just take it easy. Just calm down. Just... Oh God. Take it easy. It's going to be fine.
of life is this? My erection just gone like that. Why is this happening to me? Why does this happen? Baby? How happen it happening to me? Baby, you need to stop questioning God. Well, if I don't question God, who do I question? Tell me. I mean, don't people say God is omnipotent, omnidis, omnidat? So where is God now? Where? This is blasphemy. I don't care. Do you understand the kind of life I'm being subjected to live with? Against my own will? Honey, you have no idea, absolutely no idea what I have to go through and what I just hit me. I know, but please, let's just trust God. It's okay, everything is going to be fine. Baby, the food is ready. What do you mean you're not hungry? You've not eaten anything. I just said I am not hungry. Don't you get it? Would you leave me alone? Stop it, stop it. What are you stopping? I, I, I can't get it up. I mean, I can't get an erection. I don't, what kind of hopeless life is this? Don't say that. Don't be pessimistic. What do you mean I shouldn't be pessimistic? What is the worth of me living if I cannot get my manhood up? Look, I, I live in a very dark world right now because everything just feels so blank. Baby. Let's just be trying. It's okay. Okay, let me just give you a blowjob. Would you just stop it? Don't you understand what I'm going through right now? Babe, it's okay. Stop it! I said I can't feel anything. Nothing. Nothing is not moving at all. Don't you get it? You don't understand how I feel right now as a man. What's the worth of me living when my manhood is dead? It's Do you, you understand dead. what I'm feeling? It's not dead. Stop saying that. Just save me this salmon. I'm not interested. I was actually coming upstairs to call you. Breakfast is ready. Well, I'm not hungry. Hey. You didn't eat last night, and you're going out on an empty stomach. It's not going to work. Well, I just said I'm not hungry. You have to eat something. Baby. What was the meaning of this? Would you get out of my way? Please eat. No, 
você. Nelson. 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 Who is this boy? Nelson. Nelson. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry for your stupid self. I'm sorry, sir. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, sir. You see, that's the reason I hate employing you people from security companies. You just behave anyhow. I'm sorry, sir. You're listening to phone in my house. Break that phone. You're listening to music. Yeah, you're very stupid. See, if I see you doing this in my I'm house again, sorry, I'll sir. do. Get out, sir. Get out. You're sorry for your stupid self. You better open that gate now. Idiot. You think this is your house? Open it, open it wide open. What to do? He has refused to eat since yesterday. You needed to have seen the way he almost was handled me. I mean, something he's never ever done in his life. Rhoda, I understand what he's going through now. In fact, it is very normal. But don't worry. Um, I'll have a one-on-one -on -one section with him today, okay? Listen, he needs empathy now more than anything else, okay? Please. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Nelson! Nelson! <sighs> Nelson, how are you? I'm fine, madam. I am so sorry about what my husband did. I'm very sorry about it. I mean, he's upset, but you're not the cause. Something else got him upset. The phone, how much is it? It's 20,000, madam. Okay, I'll give you 30,000 naira so you can replace it. Ah, thank you, madam. Thank you. It's fine. Thank you very Let much. Let me get money. God bless you, ma'am. I've asked him to meet me later in the office today. Okay. Now let's talk like women. Can you live with him without sex for the rest of your life? Doctor, I thought you said that there were chances that things could get better. Yes, but very slim. See, I'm just trying to prepare your mind for the worst. Just in case this surgery isn't successful and his manhood remains dead, can you still remain married to him? You know, I didn't plan for any of this. I, I don't even know what to do. Yeah, I understand. I mean, you guys are just married for two years. No kids yet. But it's something you have to really think about. With him, like, how far are you willing to go with him? I'll think about it. That's good. This is well. Come on, Ben. Why are you making it look like someone died? Is my condition not worse than death? Don't you think that death is preferable right now? Come on, don't make this down, Ben. No matter what, there's no condition worse than death. You know it. Put yourself together and be happy that you are alive, okay? I don't blame you. Talk is cheap. That's why you sit here and be telling me about happiness. Yeah. 
No matter what, life comes first before any other thing. Though I never knew that Haber concussion could be this dangerous. I never knew. I didn't think so too. But remember I warned you to limit the rate at which you were taking it. Yeah. I wish I had listened to you. I know. I myself, I never knew it could cause erectile dysfunction. I just felt you were taking it too much. You have no idea. Chooks, I am finished. Come on, Ben. I am a total wreck. Do you understand how that feels? Ben, you're a great guy. You have a house, you have your own business you're doing well with. And to crown it all, you have a beautiful wife. Oh, please, that is not going to make me feel better. Afternoon, Doctor. How are you doing? Well, honestly, I'm not doing good, I must confess. I know. I had a discussion with your wife. She is really worried about you and your recent actions. Look, Doctor, there's, um, I mean, I, I was surfing the internet and I saw something about a, a penile transplant. Don't you think that would work for me? to work. There is nothing wrong with your penis. Like I said earlier, it is the veins responsible for the erection of your penis that is damaged. And once those veins are repaired, it will start functioning normally. Honestly, this cross is just way too much for me to carry. Listen, there is this neurologist that I want you to see. Although he's not in town at the moment, but first thing when he gets back, I'll let you know. Okay. And please, it will do you more good to be hopeful. Stop acting like you've lost this fight already. Just wear a positive outlook and keep fighting. Okay? It will never just work out for you. In the name of Jesus, I send you back. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of erectile dysfunction, every spirit of lack of erection, I send you back. I command you out of my house, out of my home, in the name of Jesus. Mark a second telebible. Oh, support I send you evil spirit out of this home. There shall be love in this home. There shall be peace in this home. Activities will take place. My God to let me send you back. Wherever you are hiding, Yama send the lady, the most cost attack, holy God fire, Mark a shock of the door. Take this money, yeah. Use it to get yourself a new phone. Uh, Madam has already given me money to buy a new phone. Really? Yes, sir. How much did she give you? She gave me 30,000, sir. Oh. Have you gotten yourself a new phone? Yes, I have, sir. All right. Thank you, sir.
How are you? I'm fine. Is dinner ready? Yes. Alright, I'll just go upstairs and have my shower first. But uh first of all I I like to apologize for the way I acted earlier on today. And also for what I did to Nelson's phone. It's just that I I don't know. It's okay. I understand. I do. Thank you. Thank you. Let me set the dining. Well, I'll go have the shower now. Yeah. so much but I'm a woman with sexual needs he's been so good to me to be heartless of me to leave him because of this maybe it's a cross we're meant to bear together now I won't leave him I'll stay with him no matter what I know she may likely leave me. I mean, she's still very young and wouldn't want to live with a man who can touch her. Oh my God. So I have now become an invalid. It's only a matter of time before she tells me that she's leaving. Because I can't make her feel like a woman. So what use am I to her now? And to think I was taking that herbal concussion to cure depression. Little did I know that it was destroying my manhood. And now, I am more depressed than I was then. Just come to bed. Please come to bed. Look, honey. We need to talk. About what? About us. About you and I. About our marriage. I knew that was what you were thinking standing over there. Look, sweetie, I am so scared and worried that I am going to lose you because of my condition. You are not going to lose me. Certainly not because of your condition. You and I are in this together, okay? I mean, I'm here for you for better or for worse. I'm not going anywhere, certainly not because of this. That's very comforting. What if I can't? Not if you can't what? <sighs> no what ifs. I love you. I love you too. Stop thinking.
Your face looks kind of brighter than yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, all I could see was a cloudy mound of hopelessness. Oh, well, I don't know about that. But my wife assured me that she's never going to leave me. Oh, I see. Now I know why you're happy. <laughs> you know, in my wildest imagination, I never thought that I would be in a situation like this. You know, I think you need to be thankful to God that you have such an understanding wife like Rhoda. You can say that again. You know, this is the time for you to lavish her with so much love and attention. You know, it's not easy. So many women out there in a position will be gunning for a divorce by now. You know that. You know she's still young and active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate that. I do. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to spoil her. I really do. You really need to pamper her. Mm. Okay? You know your wife is very beautiful. Of course <laughs> I do. Know. I know that. Come on, you're already making me jealous. Why don't you go get married so you'd be like... Oh, yeah. come on, then. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, back to um, work. What have you done concerning the project? Oh my god, baby! <laughs> wow! Babe! You bought me all these things? Oh, yes. This bracelet is beautiful. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll do anything for you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I think you should freshen up while I go get your dinner ready. All right, uh, I'll just change my top. Okay. okay. All right, uh. All right, thank you. Um, should I just serve the dinner here? Uh, yes, honey, that'll be fine. Please come in. Oh, day, <laughs> Mr. Ben. Good day. Um, Doctor, I... I actually came to find out if the neurologist he told me about his back. <laughs> no, he's not back yet. But I thought I told you, once he gets back, you'll be the first to know. Oh, yes, you, you, you actually did that, Doctor, but I... Uh, doctor, this... I, I, I have a, a very delicate question to ask you. Okay. Do you think that my... my wife can cope without sex? Mr. Ben... This question is really not for me to answer. I'm just a medical doctor, I'm not a seer. Yeah, but, but do you think she can do it? <laughs> this question is for your wife to answer. I really can't answer for her, I'm really sorry. All right, doctor, medically, do you, do you think it is possible? Mr. Ben, this has nothing to do with medicals. It's, it all depends on her choice. Some can do it, while some can't. The truth is, I can afford to lose my wife. And I also can't stand a cheating wife. Then I'll suggest you have a serious discussion with her. I've already done that. And of course, you know her. She, she promised me that she's going to be with me throughout this whole thing, but... <sighs> and it seems like you don't believe her, right? Mm -hmm. I do. Of course <laughs> I believe her. Then what are we talking about? Go home and love your wife. <sighs> Mr. Ben. Nelson. <sighs> Nelson, you're washing. Yeah. Um, you know, actually, my husband said you wash very well, that he prefers your washing to that of a washing machine. Thank you, ma'am. Um, but, madam, I'm wondering why you don't bring your own for me to wash. 
Well, that's because I can afford to wash my clothes myself. It's not a problem. Madam, you're a very nice woman. You do everything yourself. Unlike other women who practically depend on their house help. It's okay. Well, what do I need the house help for? Hmm? Maybe when I start having kids, I might consider it. But for now, I'm fine. Okay, no problem, ma'am. Okay. But um, in case you need any house help, let me know. I have a very nice girl I'll bring for you. Okay, maybe then. Okay, so just finish up, eh? When you're done, you come. I need to send you on an errand. Okay, thank you very much. All let right. me hurry up. Yeah. Ben, mm -hmm. I've been meaning to tell you something. What is it? See, why don't you get your wife some of these sex toys to use for herself whenever she's thrown under this some sexual pressure? See, we can't deny it. She is definitely going to get honey someday and we feel a strong desire for sex. Sex toys? You think that's going to help? Of course, see. These sex toys, uh -huh. she can use it to satisfy herself whenever she's thrown under that pressure, you know. See, she's also going to enjoy the same way she enjoys the real thing. Think about it. I think it's a good idea. Of course it is. See, I have someone that sells it. I can definitely give her her number. Hmm. So are you going to the office small? Most definitely. Walk. Mm -hmm. I need some catching up to do. Oh, well, we have no choice. No choice. We have to make money. Yeah, bills to pay. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. Hey. hey, hey. Come in, why right there? How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Well, I... I got you something. Oh, not again. Really? You're going to literally <laughs> spoil me with gifts. Oh, no. This one is a very, very special gift. So what makes you special? I want to know. This is a deal though, and the other one inside is a Stop good. it. What am I supposed to do with this? To use it when you desire sex. Look, baby, I quite understand that every woman has a heat period. So when you want so to... So do men, okay? I haven't complained to you, have I? I mean, you really need, need to stop all this. If I want to have sex, I want to have it naturally. And if it's not going to work, then we both wait. Please. Honey, I, I... I was only trying to help. You mean she rejected the sex toys, Ben? She rejected it flatly. Why? What was her reason? Well, she said it's against her, her religious faith. That she would rather wait for the natural one than use that artificial nonsense. Wait, she called it artificial nonsense? Yes. Well, I begged and begged her at night that she should just try at least to warn them rejecting everything outrightly. But she stood her ground. She prefers to wait for the natural one. That was what she said. It's okay. Everyone can be the same. You know, some women like sex toys, while some don't. At least we know the category where she belongs.
Um, my husband is, uh, please sit. My husband is not around, so I, I don't know. He, I think he's at the office. I'm aware of that, but it's here I'm here to see. Oh, okay. Yeah. The thing is that I was the one that suggested to Ben to get you those sex toys, but I never knew you wouldn't like them. <sighs> Say, I totally understand, but it's fine. I also learned that you maintained that if it's not the natural one, you won't have anything to do with the artificial. I don't understand why my husband is having these type of conversations with you about my family. <laughs> I totally understand you, brother. But it's fine there. Say, I'm here to help out. Help out with what exactly? Since you said you prefer the natural one, I'm here to offer it to you. Trust me, no one is going to know about this. Not even your husband, Ben. Do you realize that you're my husband's friend? And that I have a lot of respect for you. But doing this right now is the height of it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> See, I totally understand that it's going to be really tough for you to accept. But let's be realistic here, brother. Your husband, Ben, can never make love to you. And that's where I choose come in. Trust me, like I said, no one's going to know about this. Get Not even your husband. Out of my house. Okay. I think I just. Get need to out! Leave. I'll see you some other time. You're a madman. Get out! Okay, get, get, get out. Please come in. Ben, you would definitely live long. <laughs> I'll just search in for your number on my phone to call you now. Well, I, I guess it's my luck, man. Please sit. Thank you. Um, you know that colleague of mine I told you about? Um, the neurologist we talked about a few mm. weeks ago. Yes. He's back. Is and that it? Yes. I've told him everything about you. So all you need to do is go see him tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Hold on, let me just write down the address for you. What is it? I went to see the doctor. The one that Dr. Grace recommended to me. So, what, what happened? What did they say? He gave me no hope at all. They said that my vein was badly damaged. That I would never be able to, to get an erection again. 
I mean, I didn't say there's nothing they can do about it. Well, he, he prescribed some kind of treatment for me, but it's only a trial. Really? I don't like seeing you like this. And I feel bad about everything that is happening to you. But please don't lose your joy at the same time. Mighty man in battle, the balm of Gilead, the great physician. The Bible says that there is nothing too difficult for you to do. Therefore, according to your word, I command healing on my husband's manhood in the name of Jesus. I command life into his manhood in the name of Jesus. You said that we have no power of our own, that by strength shall no man prevail. Lord, I for your strength and your life upon his manhood in the name of Jesus. I decree, oh God, that you say whatever is bound on earth is bound in heaven. Father, Lord, by the power in the name, baby, wait. What is it? Baby, wait, wait, I'm praying. Let me put anointing oil. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God. Hold on, hold on, let me pour. Let me just pour something in it. Father, in the name of Jesus, as this oil, amen, amen, as this oil gets into this place, oh God, let revival be restored. Let restoration come in the name of Jesus. Wait, 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 in the name of Jesus, every demon, out, out you go, out you go, out you go. I know she will eventually accept my offer. She said she doesn't want sex toys, that she wants the natural one. And that is what I have decided to offer her. She needs it. I will keep talking to her until she yields to me. Can see. Don't tell me you're going out under this hot sun. I'm driving. Besides, my husband is at the office. He's not home. Can you just stop the pretense? You know I'm here to see you and not your husband. Hmm. Why? Don't tell me you've forgotten so soon what we discussed about the last time I was here. <laughs> Listen. I want to make you feel like a woman again. You can't continue to go on like this. Like I said, no one is going to know about it. Just the two of us, okay? I'm going to the market. Okay, just hold on. Let's do it this way. Let's meet 12 noon tomorrow at my hotel room, Mercury Hotel, room 22. Let's engage ourselves. Williams!
Baby. Yeah, but I mean, I work out. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the time. Babe. Yeah. Your friend, what's his name? Who, you mean Chooks? Yeah. You need to talk to him. I mean, he can't just barge into my house and come here anytime asking after you when he knows you're at the office. I mean, he should call you first before coming. You mean he came to see you? You. But, but that, that, that's really strange. Because he didn't come to the office yesterday. Neither did he call me to tell me that he was coming here. Just warn him. Let him learn how to use a phone. All right, fine. I'll, I'll talk okay. to him. It's okay. It's okay. Who is delaying this woman for Christ's sake? Huh? I told her to meet me here by 12 noon. It's 2 p.m. already and she's not here. I think I'll wait for her till 3 p.m. and see if she'll be here before then. No, 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 God. This will be a disaster if after taking these drugs and she doesn't show up at all. God. I'm not here for this mess. Yeah, good day. My name is Mr. Ben. I just placed an order for a classic red roses from your store. Yes, yes. Oh, please ship to the address that I have um, placed in there. Thank you very much. All right.
You better be careful. You better be careful. The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, Damn. Yeah. It's a long way to go. Why would this lady make me waste my money in a hotel room when she knows she won't come? Why? I need to see her. She really needs to explain to me what all this nonsense is all about. I thought she said she wanted the natural ones. And I'm giving it to her. She's just messing up. I really need to save her now. For everything you do, you better be careful. You better be careful. The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. You better be careful. Before the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see. What? And you got them confused. Oh my god. have gone to call police for me. I have to leave. God, my salary. I'm going to end tomorrow. Man, I don't fuck up. I have to leave. Sir, is your mother mean? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. Are you traveling? I just found the mountain. I have to leave now. Hi, man. What's up now? How are you doing? What's happening? You look worried. I'm fine. Sure. Are you okay? I just said that I'm fine. Everything is fine. Fine, if you say so. That reminds me. I heard you came to my house yesterday. When you should know by that time, I should be here in the office. I thought you'd be home. I decided to stop by. 
Next time you come into the house, first inform me. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, I need to do some things in my office. Uh, I'll check up on you later. The one on the pot is yours. Why is he acting as if everything is okay? Are you sure he has not poisoned that food? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me.
Baby, the food is ready. What do you mean you're not hungry? You've not eaten anything. I just said I am not hungry. Don't you get it? Would you leave me alone? Stop it, stop it. Dad, why are you stopping? Look, I, I, I can't get it up. I mean, I can't get an erection. I don't, what kind of hopeless life is this? Don't say that. Don't be pessimistic. What do you mean I shouldn't be pessimistic? What is the worth of me leaving if I cannot get my manhood up? Look, I, I live in a very dark world right now because everything just feels so blank. Baby. Let's just be trying. It's okay. Okay, let me just give you a blowjob. Would you just stop it? Don't you understand what I'm going through right now? Babe, it's okay. Stop it! I said I can't feel anything. Nothing. Nothing is not moving at all. Don't you get it? You don't understand how I feel right now as a man. What's the worth of me living when my manhood is dead? It's Do you, you understand dead. what I'm feeling? It's not dead. Stop saying that. Just save me this salmon. I'm not interested. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Well, I, I got you something. Oh, not again. Really, you're going to literally <laughs> spoil me with gifts. Oh, no, this one is a very, very special gift. So what makes you special? I want to know. This is a deal though, and the other one inside is a Stop good. it. What am I supposed to do with this? To use it when you desire sex. Look, baby, I quite understand that every woman has a heat period. So when you want so to... So do men, okay? I haven't complained to you, have I? I mean, you really need, need to stop all this. If I want to have sex, I want to have it naturally. And if it's not going to work, then we both wait. Please. Honey, I, I, I was only trying to help. What is it? I went to see the doctor. The one that Dr. Grace recommended to me. So, what, what happened? What did they say? He gave me no hope at all. They said that my vein was badly damaged, that I would never be able to, to get an erection again. I mean, are you saying there's nothing they can do about it? Well, he, he prescribed some kind of treatment for me, but it's only a trial. Baby, I don't like seeing you like this. And I feel bad about everything that is happening to you. But please don't lose your joy at the same time. I'm so sorry. We need to talk. About what? About us. About you and I. About our marriage. I knew that was what you were thinking standing over there. Look, sweetie, I am so scared and worried. 
that I am going to lose you because of my condition. You are not going to lose me. Certainly not because of your condition. You and I are in this together. Okay? I mean, I'm here for you for better or for worse. I'm not going anywhere. Certainly not because of this. It's very comforting. What if I can't? Not if you can't what? <sighs> no what ifs. I love you. I love you too. Stop thinking. I have done to you. I can't live with the fact that I hurt you so much. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know that sorry doesn't cut it. I know that you don't want my apology. But please. But please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I can't leave you anymore. My journey on earth has come to an end. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Baby, it's over. It's no, 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 don't do that! I don't know how much I love you. 
done this. You know what? Forgive me because I've forgiven you already. I love you. Oh, God. How do I do this now? Just hold on, baby. Hold on, okay? You'll be fine. Just hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, help me. You'll be fine, okay? Just take it easy. Oh, Ben, it's Chooks. Ben, what happened? It's my wife. She attempted suicide. What? Why would she attempt suicide? Long story. How is she now? I really don't know. They are battling to save her life, and they say she has lost a lot of blood. Lord have mercy. Serious. Doctor, please, how is she doing? Mr. Ben, please calm down. Your wife will be fine. All right, thank you very much, Doctor. But how's her body? How's she feeling? She's in a stable condition right now, and let's say in the next 15 to 20 minutes, you can go in and see her then, okay? Oh, thank you, goodness. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Good morning. All right. Okay. 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes. Okay. Look, I'm going inside. I can't wait anymore. Enough. I'm so sorry. So, I'm so sorry, Shh. baby. It's okay, baby. It's all right. It's I'm all right. so sorry. It's okay. I love you, no matter what. And I've already forgiven you before now. So please, just stop crying, please. <laughs> it's all right. Thank you very much for everything and um, thank you for discharging her. You're welcome. She's good to go now. Just put an eye on this woman. I don't trust her. I sure will. <laughs> Have you told her yet? Uh, no, I haven't. So what are you waiting for? I will tell her when we get home. What am I supposed to know? Okay. Honey, what? I will tell you when we get home, okay? Okay. It's all good. We can go now. All right. Yeah. yeah take care. Easy with a hand, okay? Exactly something I should tell you. It's something I should show you. You better be careful. You better be careful. The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. You better be careful. 
Before the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see, go be the less you see, and you go they confuse.